Now let's move on. We can also add new rows like this. What we did was to add a new column like this. We can also add a new row or new rows. Let's do that also here. Okay, so if you want to add a new row, this time we'll use another approach. We we'll use that lock function. So if you want to add a new row, let's say we have the performance of another class file. Let's say artificial neural networks, ENN. All right. So again, I'll just define it here first. I'll just say ANN equals, and now we now have for column, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'll add seven records. Okay. So each record represents one matrix here. So ANN, I'll say 0 0.7, that's accuracy, 0 0.8, that's precision. Let's say 0. 778 that's f1 score and then let's say for cohen kappa score let's say 0 0.79 let's say matthew's population coefficient let's say 0 0.53 okay let's put it that way and let's say error let's say 0 0.002 Right, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Are there six? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I think we need one more. We need to add one more for record. Okay, so I'll just put it here. You can just put a number, that's fine. I'll just say 0 0.76. Okay, so that we have um, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So let's first get our entry. All right. Now, if you're not sure of the number, you can just say len ANN and make sure it's seven. All right. Okay. So now we can proceed. Now we are going to add a new row. We first added a column. Let's add a new row. So to add a new row, here's what we do we use the lock. So I'll say df dot lock locate. And then I'll do this. I'll say ANN. So here the ANN refers to an index. That means we are creating a new index, okay, which is ANN. And then the associated data is this one here. That's what we are doing. So equals, I'll say ANN. All right, we can do it this way. We can also paste the list like what we did the other time, the previous step. So you can do it this way and then run it. All right, so let's type df and then let's see what we have. So now we see that the entry has been added here, right? You can also assign some of the activity, some of the operations to other variables, but for now we are just keeping it simple. These are things we'll cover in other tutorials. Okay, let's do this. 